I congratulate you for the progress you have made so far in the practice of Hatha Yoga. Lie on your mat in Savasana, take a few deep breaths and relax. This intermediate class 2 is a natural progression from the intermediate class 1. We are now ready to intensify our practice in asana and pranayama and really experience the flow and control of prana, this vital force that is responsible for all the functions of our body. Be aware of the relationship of prana and the mind and how strong your will is becoming as you gain control of your emotions and mind through your daily discipline of Hatha Yoga practice. You will be flowing smoothly from one asana to another with very little relaxation in between postures. At this point, you should be able to recharge the body through breath and concentration. And since your body is more subtle and purified, the vital energy is now flowing more freely. To spiritualize our practice, we will now invoke the energy of Ganesha that removes all obstacles from our path of progress. And Saraswati, the goddess of knowledge, to bless us with wisdom that frees us from all levels of ignorance and bondage and go to nurture and guide us on the path of liberation. Stretch your hands over your head. Inhale and stretch your body. Stretch your right side, the left side. Exhale. Inhale and sit up. Sit comfortably, spine erect, and chant with me. Ganadi sevitam kapita jambu palasara bhakshitam Umasutam shoka vinashakaranam Namami vigneshwara pada pankajam Shadananam kumkumarekta varanam Mahamatim divya mayura vahanam Rudrasya sonam surasanyanatham Guham sadaham sharanam prapadye Yakundendu tushara haradhavala Yasubra vastra vrita Yavina varadanda mandita karam Yashweta padma sanam Yabramha chuta shankara prabhuti bhe Devai sada pujita Samam patu saraswati bhagavati Nishesha jadya paha Om namah shivaya gurave Satchidananda murtaye Nishprapanjaya shantaya Shri shivananda yate namaha Shri Vishnu Devananda Yate Namaha Om Sarva Mangala Mangalaye Shive Sarvartha Sadhike Sharanye Trayambake Gauri Narayani Namostute Narayani Namostute
Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Inhale and stretch your hands up. Interlock your fingers and stretch. Stretch the right side. Now the left side. Exhale, lower your hands. Once more, inhale deeply and stretch out. Stretch the right side. Now the left. Exhale, lower your hands. We will now do three rounds of Kapalabhati, the cleansing breath. Starting with 60 expulsions and holding the breath for one minute. Inhale deeply, exhale completely, inhale and begin, exhale, 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 Relax the arms and shoulders 
keep the mind centered at the point between the eyebrows. This practice of Kapalabhati is most effective in stimulating and purifying the organs and glands and to cleanse and strengthen all the nadis in the astral body, thus allowing the proper flow of prana, the vital force, to every atom of the body, keeping you healthy and free of sickness and disease. Keep the mind focused and concentrated. for 80 expulsions, exhale, 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 Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Inhale, pull your lungs up and retain your breath. Relax the arms and shoulders and focus the mind on the Ajna Chakra, the point between the eyebrows. As you focus the mind on the Ajna Chakra, feel a constant stream of energy flowing from the base of the spine up the Shushumna and converging at this point. The mind will become strong through this practice of sublimation. Pranayama is a valuable tool for molding dynamic personality. Inhale deeply, exhale and return your breathing to normal. We will now do six rounds of Anuloma Viloma alternate nostril breathing exercise. By using the right hand, you will close the right nostril with the thumb and the left nostril with the ring finger. Using the ratio of 1, 4, 2, we will inhale for 5 counts, retain the breath for 20, and exhale for 10. As you inhale, visualize that you are inhaling pure positive energy, prana. As you retain the breath, visualize that this prana, in the form of light, is saturating everything every single cell in the body, burning up all the impurities and negativity. And as you exhale, visualize that the burnt up impurities are flowing out of the body. Inhale deeply. Exhale through the left. Inhale left. 
eight, um one, um two, um three, um four, um five, um ten. Exhale right, um one, um two, um three, um four, um five, um six, um seven, um eight, um nine, um ten. Inhale right, um one, um two, um three, um four, um five, retain. Exhale left, um one, um two, um three, um four, um five, um six, um seven, um eight, um nine, um ten. Inhale left, um one, um two, um three, um four, um five, retain, squeeze both nostrils. Exhale right, um one, um two, um three, um four, um five, um six, um seven, um eight, um nine, um ten. Inhale right, um one, um two, um three, um four, um five, retain.
exhale right om one om two om three om four om five om six om seven om eight om nine om ten inhale right om one om two om three om four om five retain Exhale left, om one, om two, om three, om four, om five, om six, om seven, om eight, om nine, om ten. Inhale left, om one, om two, om three, om four, om five, retain. Om one, om two, om three, om four, om five, om six, om seven, om eight, om nine, om ten. Inhale right. Om one, om two, om three, om four, om five. Retain. Exhale left, om one, om two, om three, om four, om five, om six, om seven, om eight, om nine, om ten. Lower your hand and return your breathing to normal. Just sit there for a while with eyes closed and experience the shanti, the calmness of mind and the lightness of the body. This wave of peace that is flooding your body and mind after doing pranayama. We will continue this session with the same inward focus of the mind. This whole session will be like meditation, using the body and breath as the object of concentration. You can call this meditation in motion. Gently stretch your legs out and shake them. Stand at the beginning of your mat for Surya Namaskar, Sun Salutation. The first two rounds will be done slowly to loosen up the joints and to stretch the muscles. Then we will quicken the pace to properly warm up the body and prepare it for yoga asana. We will move continuously from one sun salutation to the other. Inhale deeply. Prayer position, exhale. Inhale as you interlock the thumbs and stretch forward, up and back, looking at the fingers as you stretch, keep the knees and legs straight. Exhale, forward palms flatten the floor, fingers in line with your toes, head pressed on your legs below the knees. Inhale, stretch the right leg all the way back, right knee on the floor, press the hips down to the floor, feel the stretch. Retain the breath, take the left leg back, body straight. Exhale, drop the knees down, push the hips up, feel the arch in the spine, bring the chest and chin down to the floor. Inhale as you glide into the cobra, push the chest forward and head back. Tuck the toes under and push the hips up. Exhale, press the heels and head down to the floor. Feel the stretch in the shoulders and legs. Inhale, right foot forward all the way between your hands. Press the hips down to the floor. Exhale, both legs forward, head pressed on the legs. Inhale, interlock the thumbs and stretch the hands out, look on the fingers, stretch up and back, keep the legs and knees straight. Exhale, prayer position. Inhale, as you interlock the thumbs and stretch forward, up and back, looking at the fingers as you stretch, keep the knees and legs straight. Exhale, forward palms flat on the floor, fingers in line with your toes, head pressed on your legs below the knees. 
Inhale, stretch your left leg all the way back, left knee on the floor, press the hips down to the floor, feel the stretch. Retain the breath, take the right leg back, body straight. Exhale, drop the knees down, push the hips up, feel the arch in the spine, bring the chest and chin down to the floor. Inhale as you glide into the cobra, push the chest forward and head back. Tuck the toes under, push the hips up, exhale, press the heels and head down to the floor, feel the stretch in the shoulders and legs. Inhale, left foot forward all the way between your hands, press the hips down to the floor. Exhale, both legs forward, head press on the legs. Inhale, interlock the thumbs and stretch the hands out. Look on the fingers, stretch up and back, keep the legs and knees straight. Exhale, prayer position. Inhale, interlock the thumbs and stretch forward, up and back. Exhale, forward palms flat on the floor, head to your legs. Inhale, right leg back, push the hips down, retain, left leg back, body straight, exhale, knees, chest and chin down, inhale as you glide into the cobra, tuck the toes under, push the hips up, exhale, press the head and heels down, inhale, right foot forward, head up, exhale, left foot forward, head to the legs, Inhale, stretch forward, up and back. Exhale, prayer position. Inhale, interlock the thumbs and stretch forward, up and back. Exhale, forward palms flat on the floor, head to your legs. Inhale, left leg back, push the hips down. Retain, right leg back, body straight. Exhale, knees, chest and chin down. Inhale as you glide into the cobra. Tuck the toes under, push the hips up. Exhale, press the head and heels down. Inhale, left foot forward, head up. Exhale, right foot forward, head to the legs. Inhale, stretch forward, up and back. Exhale, prayer position. Inhale, stretch forward, up and back. Exhale, forward, palms flat on the floor, head to your legs. Inhale, right leg back, push the hips down. Retain, left leg back, body straight. Exhale, knees, chest and chin down. Inhale as you glide into the cobra. Tuck the toes under, push the hips up, exhale. Inhale, right foot forward, head up. Exhale, left foot forward, head to your legs. Inhale, stretch forward, up and back. Exhale, prayer position. Inhale, stretch forward, up and back. Exhale, forward, palms flat on the floor. Inhale, left leg back, push the hips down. Retain, right leg back, body straight. Exhale, knees, chest and chin down. Inhale as you glide into the cobra. Tuck the toes under, push the hips up, exhale. Inhale, left foot forward, head up. Exhale, right foot forward, head to the legs. Inhale, stretch forward, up and back. Exhale, prayer position. Inhale, stretch forward, up and back. Exhale, forward, head to your legs. Inhale, right leg back, head up. Retain both legs back, body straight. Exhale, knees, chest and chin down. Inhale as you glide into the cobra. Tuck the toes under, push the hips up, exhale. Right foot forward, head up, inhale. Exhale, both legs forward, head to your legs. Inhale, stretch forward, up and back. Exhale, prayer position. Inhale, stretch forward, up and back. Exhale, forward, head to your legs. Inhale, left leg back, head up. Retain both legs back, body straight. 
Exhale, knees, chest and chin down. Inhale as you glide into the cobra. Tuck the toes under, push the hips up. Exhale. Left foot forward, head up. Inhale. Both legs forward, head to your legs. Exhale. Inhale, stretch forward, up and back. Exhale, prayer position. Inhale, stretch forward, up and back. Exhale, forward. Inhale, right leg back. Retain, both legs back. Knees, chest and chin down. Exhale. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted position. Inhale, right leg forward. Exhale, both legs forward. Inhale, stretch forward, up and back. Exhale, prayer position. Inhale, stretch forward, up and back. Exhale, forward. Inhale, left leg back. Retain, both legs back. Knees, chest and chin down. Exhale. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted position. Inhale, left leg forward. Exhale, both legs forward. Inhale, stretch forward, up and back. Exhale, prayer position. Inhale, stretch forward, up and back. Exhale, forward. Inhale, right leg back. Retain, both legs back. Knees, chest and chin down. Exhale. Inhale, into the cobra. Exhale, in perfect position. Inhale, right leg forward. Exhale, both legs forward. Inhale, stretch forward, up and back. Exhale, prayer position. Inhale, stretch forward, up and back. Exhale, forward. Inhale, left leg back. Retain, both legs back. Knees, chest and chin down. Exhale. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted position. Inhale, left leg forward. Exhale, both legs forward. Inhale, stretch forward, up and back. Exhale, hands by your sides. Stretch your hands forward. Come into a squatting position and sit down. Now lie on your back with the feet flat on the floor, knees bent. Interlock the fingers behind your head and push the elbows back using the abdominal muscles. Inhale, raise the head and shoulders up. Hold on one, on two, on three. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Hold on one, on two, on three. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Hold. Exhale, down. Now we will sit up diagonally from right to left, then from left to right. Inhale, raise the head and shoulders up from the right to the left. Exhale, down. Inhale, up from the left to the right. Exhale, down. Inhale, up, right to left. Exhale, down. Inhale, up, left to right. Exhale, down. Inhale, up, right to left. Exhale, down. Inhale, up, left to right. Exhale, down. Now to really exercise the obliques, inhale, raise the head and shoulders up. Now twist to the right, twist to the left, 
Exhale down. Inhale up. Twist to the right. Now to the left. Exhale down. Inhale up. Twist to the right. Now to the left. Exhale down. Once more. Inhale up. Twist to the right. Now to the left. Exhale down. Now stretch the hands and legs out on the floor. Inhale, raise the right leg up. Reach up and grab hold of the toes. Keep the knees straight and pull the leg towards the head. Feel the stretch on the hamstrings and the calf muscles. Breathe deeply. Mentally, relax the muscles and feel them stretching. Now bring the head up to the knee. Head down. Continue to hold on to the toes, knees straight. Roll over to the left side while you bring the right leg down to the floor on your left. The left leg and body are in one straight line. Keep stretching the right leg. With the right hand, press the hip down to the floor as you continue to hold the right foot with the left hand. Feel the stretch. Stretch the right hand up. Look on your fingers as you swing the right hand and head over to the right. Focus the mind on the spine and feel the rotation of the vertebrae. Release the right leg, raise it up and swing it over to the right. Grab hold of the right foot with the right hand and stretch the leg. Release the foot, raise the right leg up and lower it down to the floor. Inhale, raise the left leg up. Reach up and grab hold of the toes. Keep the knees straight and pull the leg towards the head. Feel the stretch on the hamstrings and calf muscles. Breathe deeply. Mentally, relax the muscles and feel the stretch. Now bring the head up to the knee. Head down. Continue to hold on to the toes. Knee straight. Roll over to the right while you bring the left leg down to the floor on your right. The right leg and the body are in one straight line. Keep stretching the left leg. With the left hand, press the hip down to the floor as you continue to hold the left foot with the right hand. Feel the stretch. Stretch the left hand up. Look on your fingers as you swing the left hand and the head over to the left. Focus the mind on the spine. Feel the rotation of the vertebrae. Release the left leg, raise it up and swing it over to the left. Grab hold of the left foot with the left hand and stretch the leg. Release the foot, raise the left leg up and lower it down to the floor. Stretch your hands over your head and stretch your body. Stretch the right side, the left side. Sit up, come into a kneeling position and prepare for headstand. By now, you should be able to do Sirsh Asana with ease. 
Make a tripod with the elbows and hands. Place the top of the head on the floor, back of the head against the interlocked fingers. Pick your hips up, walk the feet to the head, bend the knees and lift the feet off the floor. Lift the knees up as you straighten the hips. Now straighten the legs. Relax in this pose. Feel the body pivoting on the crown of the head. Effortlessly, you are balancing on your head. The vertebras are properly stacked, one on top of each other. The muscles are well toned and there is no tension in the body. The breathing is slow, deep and rhythmic. The mind is completely withdrawn and centered within the body. You are experiencing a state of complete awareness of body and mind. At this stage in your practice, you are quite at ease in the inverted posture. Just as you enjoy freedom of the hands and upper body while standing on your feet, so should you experience freedom of your legs, hips, and lower body while in the headstand. You will take advantage of this freedom to really stretch the legs and loosen the hip joints and gain strength of abdominal and lower back muscles through a series of variations. Spread your legs apart to the sides. Let the weight of the leg stretch the inner leg muscles. Flex and extend the feet, pushing the heels away from the body, then the toes. This increases the stretch. Bring the legs together. Now move the right leg straight forward and the left leg back. Flex and extend the feet by pointing the toes then the heels away from the body. Legs together. Now reverse. Bring the left leg forward and the right leg back. Point the toes, then the heels away from the body. Feel the stretch. Now reverse. 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 Now with the left leg forward and the right leg back, twist the body to the left by swinging the legs in an anti-clockwise direction. The legs moving 270 degrees. Hold. Feel the massage in the colon, intestines, and the rotation of the hips and the lower back. Now swing the legs in the opposite direction, clockwise. As far as you can. Hold. Feel the deep massage. Unwind. Bring your legs together in the headstand. Exhale, lower the right leg down, the toes touching the floor in front of your head. Left leg straight up. Inhale, up. Exhale, left leg down in front, right leg straight up. Inhale, up. Now lower both legs down in front, pushing the hips back to maintain the balance, toes slightly touching the floor. Inhale up and arch back as far as you can, legs together, knees straight. Exhale forward and down, toes touching the floor. Inhale up and arch back. 
Exhale forward, down in front. Inhale up and back. Exhale down. Inhale up. Bend your knees, lower them down towards the body. Bring the feet to the floor. Sit back on your heels with the forehead resting on the floor. Stretch the hands forward, separate the knees so the chest falls on the floor. Stretch the body. Move the head from right to left as you stretch the right side, then the left side to release tension from the neck, shoulders and upper back. Continue to spread your knees apart to stretch the inner leg muscles so that the groin grazes the floor as you pull your body forward. Straighten your legs and roll over on your back in preparation for the shoulder stand. up, hips up, and take the legs all the way back behind the head as in the plow. Support the back with the hands and raise your legs up into Sarvangasana, the shoulder stand. Bring your elbows closer together and try to get the hands as low as you can to the shoulder blades. Push the body up as straight as possible. Take deep abdominal breath and focus the mind on the thyroid glands, the base of the neck. Push yourself up a little higher so the weight is on the top of the shoulders, neck and the back of the head. Bend the left knee slightly Cross the right leg over it and wrap the right foot around the left ankle. Squeeze your legs together. Release. Now let the right foot slide down to the left thigh in the half lotus. Inhale deeply and stretch the left leg up. Exhale, lower the left foot down to the floor behind the head. Inhale up and over into the bridge. Exhale. Inhale up. Stretch both legs up. Now cross the left leg over the right and bend the right knee slightly. Wrap the left foot around the right ankle and squeeze the legs together. Release. Let the left foot slide down to the right thigh in the half lotus. Inhale deeply and stretch the right leg up. Exhale, lower the right foot down to the floor behind the head. Inhale up and over to the bridge. Exhale. Inhale up. Stretch both legs up and lower them over your head into the plow. Interlock the fingers and clasp your hands. Stretch the arms out behind your back. Keep the knees straight. Point the toes towards the head and press the heels away from the head. Breathe slowly and deeply in this pose. Now walk both legs as far to the left as you can. Keep the knees straight and the legs together. Drop both knees down to the left ear. 
straighten your knees and walk the legs over to the right as far as you can. Drop both knees down to the right ear. Straighten your legs and walk them to the center. Now bend the legs and bring the knees to the floor by your ears. Wrap your arms over the knees and interlock the fingers under the head. Press the elbows down and feel the stretch. Release and straighten your legs. Support your back and up into the shoulder stand and over into the bridge with both legs. Inhale and with a slight spring, raise both legs up into the shoulder stand and over into the plow. Inhale up and over into the bridge once more. Now straighten the knees and press the feet flat on the floor. Raise the right leg up, down, left leg up, down. Now bend the knees and grab hold of your ankles. Push the hips up as you pull on the ankle. Lower the hips, continue to hold on to the ankles and push the chest up with support from the elbows. Lift the heels up and move forward, bringing the knees to the floor. Come on the head and push the chest and hips up as you bring the feet flat on the floor, rolling on the head. You are now supporting on the feet and the front of the head. Release the ankles and take the hands back over the head and push up into Chakrasana the wheel. Rock gently to and fro, manipulating the spine. Lower the back down on the mat, come into the lotus, grab hold of the feet and push the chest up into Matsya Asana the fish. Breathe deeply, pressing the elbows down and pulling on the feet, push the chest up higher. Release the feet, place the palms under the thighs and using the elbows as a lever, pick the head up and lower the body to the floor. Stretch the legs out, roll the head from side to side, stretch the hands over the head, inhale and stretch the body, stretch the right side, now the left, exhale, inhale and sit up, reach up, point the toes towards the head, inhale, stretch the right side, now the left, exhale, inhale, stretch up, and as you exhale, fold like a hinge from the pelvis, as you pull the abdomen in, keep the back straight, and reach forward with your chin to the toes, interlock your fingers, and place the palms flat on the soles of your feet, Press the elbows down to the floor as you bring the abdomen, chin and forehead down on your legs. Breathe deeply. Keep the abdomen on the thighs. Roll the head up and reach with the chin towards the toes. Feel the spine elongating and the stretch in the hamstring and calf muscles. Rest the forehead on the legs. Breathe deeply and experience the release of Shakti in this asana. 
inhale and stretch up bend the left knee and grab hold of the left foot pull it as high up as you can on the right thigh swing the left hand around the back and grab hold of the left foot as in the half bond lotus stretch the right hand up and reaching over the heel fall forward on the right leg grab hold of the right foot and pull feel the deep massage in the colon and the abdominal area with the left heel inhale stretch both hands up interlock the thumbs and twist the body to the left Bring the right elbow to the inside of the right leg. Grab hold of the arch of the foot with the right hand. Stretch the left hand up and swing it over the head and grab hold of the outside of the foot. Look up to the ceiling. Feel the stretch on the left side and the rotation of the spine. Inhale. Release the left hand, stretch it up, raise the trunk, change position of the foot. Stretch the left leg out and place the right foot as high up as you can on the left thigh. Stretch the right hand up and swing it around the body and grab a hold of the right foot as in the half bond lotus. Stretch the left hand up and reaching over the heel, Fall forward on the left leg, grab hold of the foot and pull, feel the deep massage. Inhale, stretch both hands up, interlock the thumbs and twist the body to the right, bring the left elbow down to the inside of the left leg, grab hold of the arch of the foot with the left hand. Stretch the right hand up, swing it over the head and grab hold of the outside of the foot. Look up to the ceiling. Feel the stretch on the right side. Inhale, stretch the right hand up, sit up and spread the legs apart as far as you can. Place the right hand in front and the left hand behind. Lift the buttocks up and push it forward to increase the split. Stretch both hands forward on the floor. Slide them forward until the body rests flat on the floor. Stretch the body. Stretch the right side, left side, stretch. Raise the head and the chest up. Bend the right hand and place the right cheek on the right palm. Place the left hand on the left thigh and push as you twist the trunk to the left, looking up to the ceiling. Done properly, this will rotate the spine from the base to the head. Release. Place the left cheek in the left palm, elbow on the floor. Place the right hand on the right thigh and push as you twist the body to the right, looking up to the ceiling. This manipulates the spine and releases tension. Raise the trunk up, bring the soles of the feet together, interlock the fingers, cup the toes and pulling on the feet, inhale deeply. Push the chest forward and let the head fall back. Enjoy the stretch. Exhale. Now interlock the fingers behind the back, clasp the palms and stretch the hands back. Fall forward, bring the chest flat on the feet and the chin on the floor as you raise the clasped hands up behind you. Inhale up, stretch the left leg forward, grab hold of the right foot and sitting up straight, pull the right foot to the center of the chest. Breathe deeply and rock it to loosen the joints. 
Now take the foot up to the chin, then to the air. Now straighten the knee and pull the leg to the head. Bend the knee slightly and throw the foot over the head around the neck. Clasp your palms in the prayer position. Now place the palms flat on the floor for support as you lie back on your right leg. Getting maximum stretch. Inhale up and fall forward. Inhale up. Remove the foot from behind the neck and stretch the leg forward. Take the left foot in both hands and sitting up straight, pull the left foot to the center of the chest. Breathe deeply and cradle it. Now raise it to the chin, then to the air. Straighten the leg and pull it to the head. Bend the knee slightly and throw the foot over the head around the neck. Clasp the palms in the prayer position. Now place the palms on the floor for support. Lie back on the left leg. Feel the stretch. Inhale up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale up. Remove the foot from behind the neck. Straighten both legs forward. Place the palms flat on the floor behind you. Inhale. Push the hips up into the inclined plane. Try to get the feet flat on the floor and the head falling freely between the shoulders. Exhale. Inhale and twist the hips by rolling on the right side of the foot, then on the left side. Exhale, down. Now sit to the left of your heels. Stretch the right leg all the way back behind you. Push the chest forward, head back. Feel the expansion of the chest and the stretch in the insides of the legs. Bend the right knee. Swing the right hand back and grab hold of the right foot. Rotate the arm at the shoulder socket so that the elbow is pointing up. Reach back with the left hand over the head and grab hold of the foot. With both hands, pull the foot to the head as you arch back until the head rests in the sole of the foot. Release the leg. Now with the right leg straight behind you, stretch the left leg forward. Pick the body up with your hands and straighten the left knee. Heel on the floor. Now gently bounce the body and ease yourself down into the split. Now sit to the right of your heels. Stretch your left leg all the way back behind you. Push the chest forward, head back. Bend the left knee. Swing the left hand back and grab hold of the left foot. Rotate the arm at the shoulder socket so that the elbow is pointing up. Reach back with the right hand over the head and grab hold of the foot. With both hands, pull the foot to the head as you arch back until the head rests in the sole of the foot. Release the foot. Now with the left leg back, stretch the right leg forward. Pick the body up with the hands and straighten the right knee. Heel on the floor. Gently bounce the body and ease yourself down into the split. Now stretch both legs back and lie on your tummy. Stretch the hands forward, palms flat on the floor. Inhale, raise the head and chest up. Stretch the right side of the chest, now the left side. Push the chest forward, head back and feel the expansion. Exhale down. 
Now place the palms flat on the floor, fingers in line with the shoulders. Inhale, arch the forehead, nose, chin, head up into the cobra. Pick the chest and the trunk up and arch a little more. Head back, push the chest forward. Keep the elbows bent and the shoulders relaxed. Hold this posture. Breathe deeply. Exhale down. Now slide the palms down about three inches. Come on your fingers. Pick the head, chest and trunk up as you gracefully arch up into the cobra. Now the spine is completely arched. Bend the knees. Bring the big toes together and pushing more on the fingers, arch back until the head touches the toes. Legs down, lower the body to the floor. Stretch the chin forward on the mat, make fists, place them under your thighs, elbows as close together as possible. Keep the legs together, knees straight, inhale, Exhale, inhale and raise both legs up, hold, one, two, three, exhale, down, once more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale and with a slight sprint raise legs, hips and lower body up, Exhale, lower the body down. Bend the knees, grab hold of the ankles, and arch up into Dhanurasana, the bow. Keep the knees together. Now separate the knees and arch up a little more. At this point, as you inhale and exhale, rock to and fro on your tummy. Exhale down. Now turn the palms up and grab hold of the outside of the feet. Pull both feet up as you rotate the arms at the shoulder sockets so that the elbows point forward. Continue to pull the legs up as you arch back. Now pull the feet to the head. Experience the power of this asana. Lower the body to the floor and come into the child's position. Grab hold of the heels and push the hips forward, head back into the camel posture. Now place the palms flat on the soles of the feet. Breathe deeply. Raise the head up and sit down. Now with one motion, stretch the hands forward as you come on your knees. Reach up and arch back until the palms rest on the floor behind you. Now bring the head down to the floor. By pushing with the hands, you can push the head towards the feet. Inhale and push up into a kneeling position. Sit to the left of your heels. Place the right foot as close as you can to the body on the outside of the left thigh. Pick the body up and sit on the left heel. Stretch the left hand up and wind it around the right knee. Swing the right hand behind the back and grab hold of the left fingers. Twist the body and look to the right. Breathe deeply. Release. Now sit to the right of your heels. Place the left foot as close as you can to the body on the outside of the right thigh. Pick the body up and sit on the right heel. Stretch the right hand up and wind it around the left knee. Swing the left hand behind the back and grab hold of the right fingers. Twist the body and look to the left. Breathe deeply. 
Release and come into a squatting position. Place the palms flat on the floor, fingers pointing towards the body, elbows and hands together. Drop the knees down and place the elbows as low down towards the groin as possible. Rest the head on the floor. Support the body on the elbows. Stretch the legs out behind you. Now pick the head up and moving forward slightly, pick the legs up and straighten the body as it balances on the elbows in Mayurasana, the peacock. Bend the knees and in one movement bring them forward and sit between the heels. Massage the wrist. Place the palms flat on the floor, about shoulder distance apart, fingers pointing away from the body. Stand up, straighten the elbows, and come on the big toes. Place the knee into the armpits. Move forward and pick both feet up into the crow with the hands straight. Exhale down. Now move the hands apart, about three feet. Move both feet over to the right. Bend the right elbow and place the left knee on the right elbow. Shift the body to the left as you pick the body up into the side crow. Down. Now keep the hands in the same position. Move over to the left. Bend the left elbow and place the right knee on top of the left elbow. Shift the body to the right as you pick the legs up into the side crow. Down. Spread your legs apart. Slide your hands back as far as you can between and behind the legs. Now sit on the arms. Bring the feet together. Interlock them and hold. Release the feet. Straighten the right leg. Now straighten the left leg. Straight. Bend the knee and place the feet flat on the floor. Stand up with your feet wide apart. Raise the arms sideways in line with the shoulders. Left foot pointing forward and the right foot pointing sideways at 90 degrees to the left. Keep the trunk vertical as you move sideways to the right bending the right knee until the calf and thigh form 90 degrees. Keep the left knee straight and the left foot flat on the floor. Look in the direction of the right fingers and breathe deeply as you hold this pose. Now push the pelvis down to the floor a little more. Move a little more to the right as you bring the right hand down and place the palm flat on the floor beside the outside of the right foot. Stretch the left arm out over the left ear so the left leg, body, and left arm form one straight line. Breathe deeply. Inhale up. Now change position of the feet. Left foot at 90 degree to the right. Arms raised to the sides at the shoulder level. Move the body to the left as you bend the left knee so that the calf and the thigh form 90 degree. Keep the trunk vertical. The right leg should be straight and the right foot flat on the floor. Look in the direction of the left fingers. Breathe deeply as you hold this pose. Now push the pelvis down to the floor a little more. Move a little more to the left as you bring the left hand down and place the palm flat on the floor beside the outside of the left foot. Stretch the right arm out over the right ear so the right leg, body, and the right arm form one straight line. Breathe deeply. Inhale up. Interlock the fingers behind the back and clasp the hands. Place the right foot at 90 degree to the left. Swing to the right. 
Inhale deeply and push the clasped hands down as you push the chest forward and head back, expanding the chest. Exhale, fold forward from your hips on the right leg as you raise the clasped hands up behind you. Keep the knees straight, hold and breathe deeply. Now bend the right knee and bring the forehead down to the floor beside the inside of the right foot. Inhale up. Now change position of the feet. Left foot at 90 degree to the right. Swing to the left. Inhale, push the hands down as you expand the chest. Exhale, fold forward on the left leg as you raise the clasped hands up behind you. Keep the knees straight, hold this posture and breathe deeply. Now bend the left knee and bring the forehead down to the floor beside the inside of the left foot. Inhale, up. Now point both feet forward. Inhale, expand the chest and fold forward as you raise the clasped hands up behind you, bringing the head to the floor and the hands also touching the floor behind the head. Release the hands and wind them around the ankles from the inside. Pull the body forward. Now release the ankles and pushing the hands between the legs, palms down, pull your body through as far as you can between the legs. Inhale up, bring the legs together, shake them out. Now we will do Natarajasana, the dancer's pose. Bend the right leg up behind you, hold the right foot in the right hand and push the leg out and up as you pull. Raise the left hand up and look towards the fingers. Exhale, down. Change position. Bend the left leg. Hold the left foot in the left hand and push the left leg up and out behind you as you pull. Raise the right hand up and look towards the fingers. Exhale, down. Now for the tree pose. Choose a fixed spot or object in front of you to gaze on. Stand on the right leg. Place the left foot on the right thigh as in the half lotus. Clasp the hands in the prayer position and with concentration and balance, raise them up above the head. Keep stretching up, feeling tall and form like a tree. Breathe deeply and maintain your concentration and balance. Exhale, lower your arms down and your leg. Now change position. Stand on the left leg and place the right foot on the left thigh as in the half lotus. Keep focusing on the object in front of you. Clasp the hands in the prayer position and raise them up above the head. Continue to stretch up. Feel yourself anchored to the ground and growing tall like a tree. Breathe deeply and maintain your balance and concentration. Exhale, lower your arms and legs. Interlock your thumbs. Inhale and stretch up. Stretch the right side. Now the left. Exhale. Inhale, stretch up as tall as possible to lengthen the spine. And exhale, folding forward from the pelvis. 
Reaching out in front with your hands, keep the knees and spine straight. Fall on your legs. Grab hold of the big toes with the thumbs and index fingers. Pull the body to the legs and breathe deeply. Release your toes and come out slowly. Reach forward from the pelvis. Raise up and lower your arms down. Now lie on your mat in Savasana. After this non-stop adventure through every part of the body, you are now ready for a long and deep relaxation. This will further recharge and rejuvenate every single cell in your body. First, we will use concentration, breath, and tension to energize the body. Focus the mind on the right leg. Inhale deeply. Lift it off the floor a few inches. Tense, squeeze, and release. Release the breath and tension simultaneously. Focus the mind on the left leg. Inhale deeply. Lift it off a few inches and tense, squeeze, and release. Focus the mind on the right hand. Inhale deeply. Lift off the floor a few inches, make a tight fist, extend the fingers, and release. Consciousness on the left hand, inhale deeply, lift it off the floor a few inches, make a tight fist, extend the fingers, and release. Consciousness on the buttocks, inhale deeply, lift it off the floor, tense, squeeze, and release. Consciousness on the abdomen, inhale deeply, swell it out, squeeze it, and release. Consciousness on the chest, inhale deeply, swell it out, squeeze it, and release. Consciousness on the facial muscles, inhale deeply, now squeeze all the muscles to the nose, make an ugly face, and release. Consciousness on the facial muscles again, inhale deeply. Now open the mouth wide open, stretch your tongue out, open your eyes, look back and release. Now spread the legs apart about two feet, hands away from your sides about the foot, palms facing the ceiling. Roll the head from side to side, release tension from the neck and shoulders. Take a few deep breaths to further recharge the body and to eliminate all the toxins released during the exercise. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now let the breath flow normally in and out. Stand apart from the body, observing and commanding it to be steady for the duration of the relaxation. No more movement, only the mind will be moving through the different parts of the body, searching for every tiny bit of tension and mentally it will release and remove the tension. Focus the mind on the toes. Command them to relax. Relax. Draw the mind to the feet. Relax. Relax. Calves. Relax. Relax. Thighs. Relax. Relax. Hips. Relax. Relax. Abdomen. Relax. Relax. Lower back. Relax. Relax. Draw the mind up along the spine. Relax every vertebra. Relax the muscles at the side of the spine. Upper back. Relax. 
relax. Chest, relax. Relax. Fingers, relax. Relax. Forearms, relax. Relax. Upper arms, relax. Relax. Shoulders, relax, relax, neck, relax, relax, facial muscles, chin, lips, nose, eyes, forehead, cheeks, ears, scalp, Relax, relax, relax. The entire body is completely and totally relaxed. The entire body is completely and totally relaxed. Witness how still the body is. Only the prana is flowing, maintaining all the vital functions. With the mind completely withdrawn from all external thoughts and distractions, and totally absorbed in the Ajna Chakram, the third eye, you are in command of all your potentials at will. You can disassociate the astral body from the physical. You are now consciously having an out-of-body experience. You are hovering over the body that lies there like a corpse. It is so relaxed, safe and secure in your private room with nothing and no one to disturb it. You are free to go on a trip that you always dreamt about. You have no barrier. You need no vehicle. At the speed of thought, you can project yourself to any part of the galaxy. The only thing that connects you to the body is the astral or silver cord. Take a trip to an enchanted tropical island of your dreams. Set yourself down on this island that sits like a jewel in the clear multi-shades of blue and green waters of the sea. You are alone. There is no one or anything to disturb you. The beauty of nature here is so magical that you want to absorb it in stillness. Sit under the shade of the palm trees by the side of the pink sand beach, looking out into the vast ocean. The protective coral reef has softened the power of the ocean waves so that it gently caresses the beach as it rolls in, blending with the music of the birds, animals, and the cool breeze rustling through the leaves to create an enchanting symphony. Underlying this is a cosmic sound of OM, which is the support of all this music and beauty. As your senses absorb all this beauty that nature has created, you are now aware of the Anhata sound, the music that is within you and the cosmos. You are now absorbed in Ananda, bliss absolute, that bliss that transcends all sensual pleasures, bliss absolute that is beyond the power of words to express. Experience this bliss for a while.
gently transport yourself back to your body, taking with you the peace and joy of this experience. Wriggle your fingers and toes, take a few deep breaths, and stretch your hands over your head, stretch your body, inhale and sit up, with the eyes still closed, sit in the lotus and chant Om with me, recreating the cosmic Omkara that you experienced in the transcendental state. Inhale deeply. Thank you.